Chuck. Yes. I've been looking forward to this one. Uh oh. That's Explainer good. video. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh oh, that's good. Uh, <laughs> oh, this this reveals your mixed emotions about this. Ah, uh, well, you know. <laughs> I told you it's always uh, it, it, it's always an adventure, not not because of what we talk about, but because you pick some pretty um, out there stuff. Like out there stuff. So so we're gonna this one is gonna be about um, ID numbers. See, that's what I was talking about. And, tra and tracking numbers. <laughs> that's what it. <laughs> See, that's exactly is, what you're talking this about. This is exactly what I'm saying. You know what I mean? It's, okay. And it's like, hey, man, uh, like, listen, you, this is what I love about the explainers. It's like if you're at a cocktail party mm -hmm. and somebody says something and you're like, oh, so boy, here we go. And, and then you're then, stuck because you're both sharing a drink and looking at each other in that right. moment. Right, but right. But then when they tell you whatever it is, you're like, oh, wow. Oh, right. You know, like it's okay. really it's terrifying and refreshing all at the same time. <laughs> OK. All right. So let's look at Social Security numbers. All right. OK. Uh, so the format is what? Uh, three, two, four. Three, two, four. So if that's the format, you can ask the very simple question and, and every Every working person in the United States, every citizen, gets a social security number. Yes. How many possible people can those social security numbers cover? Okay, that makes this sense. This is a very natural question, right? Of course it is. Will they run out of social security numbers? Yeah, it's like, will they run out of phone numbers? Okay, we'll get there. That's the next thing we're going to do. Oh, okay. okay. So, so with social security number, you have three digits... And okay. by the way, it matters for this calculation. Each of those digits can be anywhere from zero to nine, the 10 numerals of our counting system. Okay. Okay. That's zero good. through nine. So the at, same with the second digit, the third, and the, the two middles, and the four on the right. Mm -hmm. So for every digit, for every slot in an ID number, and let's just treat the case of pure counting numbers for now. For every slot... There are 10 times as many slots as the previous one that you counted. Okay. For every slot, there's 10 times as many slots as the previous one you just counted. Okay, okay, okay. so, I so, so I, maybe I could have said that better. But if you have just one, one set of digits to count people, right. okay, you got 10. The, you, the most you can count is 10. That's if someone agrees to be counted as zero. <laughs> as zero, okay. right, exactly. Okay, Even that's the that, most. You, you get that. You get that sometimes. You see these, sometimes you see the football players and they're like zero, you know, as, mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. oh, and they're, and I'm just like, okay, all right. I don't know. No, but they have double zero, which is different. Well, there's double zero. You know what double zero is? No, double It's a hundred. It's a hundred. Okay. Double, double zero is because they don't, they don't put three digits across their back. All right. Wait a minute, guys. Here we go. We got to go. Uh, we got to go. Let's see. This is explainer inception because <laughs> we're in an explainer, but now we must go inside another explainer. Because <laughs> seriously, what do you mean it's 100? Well, well, cause, well, let me put say it another way. That is my understanding. Okay. Because you can't put 100 on a jersey, so they put two zeros. I got what okay. you're saying. So you start at zero, you go to 99. If you're 99, well, then if somebody wants to be 100, they got to be double zero. They got, they're double zero. So that's gotcha. what the double zero is, is gotcha. what, uh, is my, as I understand it. But, All right. Now take this pill so that we can get out of this <laughs> explainer and get back to the other explainer. For those of you who have not seen the film Inception, okay, this is, it's kind of a... Uh, yeah, it's a mind meld. Uh, you got to get inside the brain of the dream, inside the brain of the person who's dreaming. There you right. go. All right. So, uh, so, so, if if you got one digit, if people agreed that they could be numbered zero, you can. It works for ten people. Right. Okay. So now you have two digits. So all you have to do is count until you run out of digits. So you can start with zero. Right. And then you go up to 99. There we go. How many numbers is that? That's 100. That's 100. Right. Okay. So, you just, so you, with, you, you with two slots, it's 10. it's 10 times the previous one. Right. Okay. With three slots, you would start out 
zero 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 one zero zero two blah 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 zero one zero zero one 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 two one three <laughs> one zero 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 two three three and you do all of that you get up to how how high a thousand no oh nine ninety nine nine ninety because you only have three decimal places right a thousand requires four. four that's not allowed yet okay right you get up to nine hundred ninety nine okay plus the zeros you started with so three decimal places does get you to a thousand because you started with zeros on that. Okay. All right. So you can just keep doing this and let's do this for the social security number. All right. So the social security number has, there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine slots, Dang. nine slots. Right. So if they're all nines, okay, we have nine nines. That's 999,999,999. Thousand no, three six nine yeah nine hundred ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine, right? Okay. Now I add the the if someone were all zeros I don't know if anybody is but let's imagine that that gets it up to how many? Uh, what a what's billion. one more than nine hundred ninety nine million? One hundred million. No, no child. one more. That's nine hundred ninety nine million and one though. No, 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 no. It's we're at nine hundred ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Okay, okay, so then uh, right, so we're at a billion now. Billion. There you go. Yeah, we're at a billion now. And in honor of Carl Sagan, we shall say a billion. 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 A billion. So, social security numbers can accommodate a billion people. Wow. Which, I mean, and they all have to be living. <laughs> well, so I don't know if they reuse social security numbers of dead people. I just don't know. I didn't check on that. But if they do, that's fine because the population of the United States is like 340 million. So we have enough Social Security numbers for three times, basically three times the population of the United States. Right. That's kind of cool. Well, it's kind of cool. Yeah. So, so if they run out because they, they somehow preserve the Social Security numbers of dead people, then they'd have to add a digit. Right. So be, it would be four digits, two digits, then four digits. And that will give you 10 times more... And that'll, that'll take us, we hope the population doesn't ever get that high. Right. And we would run out of resources. Now you're into Thanos territory. Okay? <laughs> Where's Thanos when you need him? Exactly. To snap his fingers yeah. to, sa to save us from ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which movie is that from? Let's <laughs> that is, um, that's, what Marvel movie is that? Um, Avengers, yeah. Avengers something, Endgame. 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 And yeah. Avengers Endgame. Well, it's, it's spread across a couple of films, actually. Yes, so. yes. Okay, so let's do it with phone numbers. Okay. Okay, so in the old days. Wait, before days, we move on. Yeah. You, sh you sure you don't want to offer the people your social security number? <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, I don't know if you remember the guy who, I don't forget the company, but he did a stunt where he went on national TV and he was like, this is my social security uh, number. And my, my uh, security company is so secure that I'm letting you have because I can never be hacked. And, of course, they hacked him and ruined the guy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can always be here's – the, here's a deep lesson for us all. Right. You can always be hacked by someone smarter than you. There you go. That's what it means when the person is smarter than you. That's it. Okay. All right. You can have, well, I'm an expert hack protector, and you hire me, and then I do, and I, and I close all the loops and everything. That's good until someone smarter than me comes along. Right. And, and gets through it. That's all. So you need the, the single smartest hacker in the world to protect you, and then you're good. Absolutely. Except we're still, <laughs> except, get, we're still giving birth to more people. <laughs> I was going to say, except that day will never come. <laughs> uh, let's go back in the old days of phone numbers where no one really carried the, the, the area code uh, because area codes really didn't demarked area. And you really didn't know many people outside your area code. And if you did, it was a special moment to call long distance. Operator, I'm calling long distance. Right. It's, that's how old we both are because we remember that. But let's go back to the seven digits. So seven digits, they can each be, uh, well, the lead digit can't be a zero, but let's ignore that for now. Let's assume they each had 10 digits. So seven of these would be uh, 99 million is this right? No, no. Nine million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Got you. Okay, that's that's seven digits. That's nine full million. Up. Right. That's seven. nine million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand 
999. That's all full up. So it worked pretty much everywhere in the country. All you needed was seven digits because there were no cities or states that had more than nine million people. Even New York at that time, the population. Yeah, it wasn't that you needed nine million people. Is it did you have nine million phones? Nine million phones, right? Exactly, because right, right, households right. only had one phone. One phone. Right, right. right. Yeah. Now, you might have had two phones because you have a business phone and, at your office right. and then one at home. But that's, Isn't that funny? I didn't even think. You're that, thinking everybody. I'm yeah, thinking yeah. everybody has a number. <laughs> but no, back then, you had a phone in your house. And, and, then, and if you were on Green Acres, right. the town had one phone. The town okay. had a phone. <laughs> okay. That's rough. Green Acres, a television show from the 1960s. So, <laughs> we need... <laughs> we need some uh, subtext here so people can keep track yeah. of these references. It's, Anyhow. it's still on TV, by the way. <laughs> so 9,990,990, that's basically 10 million people. And so then, uh, when the total number of phones started getting out of hand, uh, this happened in New York City pretty early, okay? Uh, the, the city's population is 8 million but everyone, of course, had an office phone. Sometimes you had more than one office phone, and people were getting multiple lines in their own home and said, we, gotta, we, we don't want to stop this, but we have to fix it. And so they forced everyone in New York, we were among the first to do this, to have to dial 10 digits That's right. to even call locally. Yep. Okay? So the three you, area you codes. Had your 212 for Manhattan. Manhattan. And we added 718. 718. And that was basically for the outer boroughs, but right. still it just became this mix. And so now, once you add an area code, uh, you have three extra digits. So you went from 9,999,999 to 90 million, I mean, to, to nine, yeah, 99 billion, 999 million, 999,999. That's the 10 digits. That's the 10 digits. Okay, so those 10 digits if you add the zero at the beginning, which we wouldn't, but just no. to get, it's a ballpark number here, we'd be getting 10 billion phone numbers. Right. That's plenty. Eh, for now. Well, that's plenty for the United States. Yeah. Okay? So now, the United States has a plus one in front. Okay? Right. Or is that North America? I forgot no, that's, which. that's the country code. A country code. So now, in addition, we've added an 11th digit. That's right. Okay, and country codes don't only go to nine. Some countries have two codes. So they're 12 digits. Oh, my gosh. 12 digits. That's a trillion. Okay? 999 billion, 999 million, 999,999 plus one is a trillion. So we basically have enough phone numbers for a trillion phones in the world. With, with the 10 digits plus the country code. Mm -hmm. And by the way, if, if you have Sprint, none of them are getting reception. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> just, just let me you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but wait. So it's not just IDs or phone numbers. How about a FedEx number? Okay? Okay. Okay. You've probably sent many more FedExes than you own phones. Oh, without a doubt. Okay. So FedEx has... 12 digits in it, okay? However, I, I think FedEx can also have letters in there. Yes, they do. Okay? Letters. So, every time you hit a letter, you don't multiply by 10. You multiply by the total number of letters available to you, which is? 26. 26. So, every letter slot in an ID code you multiply whatever was going on up to then, not by 10, but by 26. Damn. Yes. And so the number can get really big, really fast, like airplane reservation codes. Right. Those are six. Right. Um, there's six characters. And I think they can be either letters or numbers. Yeah, they, it doesn't make a difference. They, doesn't make a difference. They can randomize. Okay. Which means each slot has how many possibilities? Uh, 26 plus 10, right? 36 slots. Right. So it's 36 times 36 times 36 times 36 times 36 times 36. Damn. I'm telling you. Now let me do that right quick here. Yeah. And here's, 
And, yeah. and it doesn't make a difference because uh, no matter what, you're not going to be able to uh, get the lady on the phone to understand you. <laughs> <laughs> See? That's, you know. Okay. And may I have your reservation number? Yeah. It, um, okay, so the reservation number I get. So 36 to the sixth power is what that okay. is. I get 2,176,782,336. So that's how many total possible reserve billion reservation codes are possible with those six and never repeating okay never repeating. but why why not repeat them i mean you know use a code from 10 years ago who cares exactly right yeah right yeah i mean yeah they're not going to honor it anyway right <laughs> so so that's that's how you figure out how many total uh, codes there are that's amazing that, that's how you do that all right well this was super fun. Chuck, that's all we have time for. All right. This all is right. great. Another Star Talk explainer. Chuck Nice, always good to have you, man. Always a pleasure. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Keep looking up.